vacuum tank information. This is the normal size vacuum tank that most vintage cars would have. Uh, they, they work by engine vacuum and we'll get into that working of it shortly. But that's your normal size, it's in two tanks, an inner and an outer. This tank is the Lincoln version. As you can see, quite a bit different. However, the working part of it is exactly the same. How it works is you have a number of little passageways. This one is connected to the engine vacuum. This one is vented to the atmosphere and has a double passageway in here. And this one is connected directly to the fuel tank. How it works is you have these two in here. So that's your storage part. In that one, it's the bottom half. In this one, it's quite large. And what happens is when the float's down, this little valve is closed and that one there is open. That one allows engine vacuum into this top chamber in here. Because there's engine vacuum in here, it's low pressure. Atmospheric pressure is applied to the tank and the fuel is forced from the tank up through this line, through here, into this bowl. As the bowl fills, the float moves up. When it gets to a certain stage, you'll see the mechanism at the top goes over centre. See that? Yes. Goes over centre. When it goes over centre, this inside valve is closed, which shuts your engine vacuum off. The outside one is opened, which allows atmospheric pressure into this top bowl. As soon as that happens, you have equal pressure here and below, so the fuel drains through this bowl, out through this little flapper valve, and into the main tank. As soon as the float drops down, as the float comes down, you'll see the mechanism goes over centre, shuts atmospheric pressure off, opens up your vacuum from your engine, and the process starts again, fuel's drawn up into here, the float rises, goes over centre and it drops it out. Now these pump a fair amount of fuel, or draw a fair amount of fuel is probably the correct way of doing, of talking about it. The convention, these valves sit, this flapper valve is fairly critical. It doesn't seal very well but it has fuel against it holding it closed. So when you have vacuum there it actually holds that closed. Now mm. what we're finding with the Lincoln that's struggling going up the range, mm. partly because if you think of the car as facing that way, the valve is sitting there so you actually have the fuel helping it to open. Mm. So what I've done as a trial is I've moved this bowl around so that that valve's facing the front so when you're going up the range you have fuel pressure on it to keep it closed while the top draws because when you're going up the range you're not getting as much draw as when you would be driving normally. Do you have a problem with um, the lowering of the um, air pressure up there because you're right 1800 feet no. above sea level? No because your vacuum here is quite high. Okay and you've got atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric. So it's fine on the flat, it was just going up the hill because as okay. you can see, if you don't have mm. engine vacuum, mm. you don't have enough suck to draw the fuel up. Well, that should solve it, I think. So a vacuum car going up the range, just like the old ones where the wipers stop, mm. same deal with this, so occasionally mm. you've just got to lift your foot a little bit, mm. not be flat out. Mm. Uh, and this with such a big tank and the amount of fuel these can actually draw, Mm. Uh, it should probably make it up the range fine as long as we don't have vaporising or uh, other issues. Mm. It'll be interesting to see how it goes with the 40 odd degrees we get out here. Yes. Mm. Well, I've got to do a few other things as well. But that's mm. the vacuum tank. That's what they have instead of a fuel pump. Okay.
It's quite a simple and easy mechanism uh, which overcomes a, a basically gravity feed mm. from the bottom of this tank out of here. Mm. Oh, sorry, that's the drain out of this one inside the firewall. This section mm. is inside the firewall on the mm. Lincoln. But because it's a V8 and the carb is in the valley and it's updraft, there's not a lot of fall. I think it's mm. only got about probably six inches at the most fall from the bottom of that tank to where the fuel goes into mm. the carby. So it's not a mm. lot of fall. No. Which again works against it going mm. uphills. Mm. Okay. okay. Thanks very much for that, Graham.